All right, so it's been two weeks since my last video, and uh, so I'm gonna give you an update. Uh, just so you know, some of these plants are looking a little, uh, a little pathetic today because I gave them a a dousing of soap and neem oil uh, for some pest treatments to keep pests off of them, stuff like that. And not that I was necessarily having a pest problem, but it's you know more preventative than anything. And then also I picked off all the flower buds and the little flower clusters that were coming along. Um, that way the, the plant would, uh, uh, instead of focus its energy on putting out, you know, buds, it will put out its energy into roots and growing taller. So anyway, they might be looking a little pathetic, but other than that, they've been, they've been great. Here's my banana, as you can see. Let me get my, adjust my light on my phone here. So as you can see, the banana is looking great. Some of these, I don't know exactly what they are because I, I left my diagram inside. So, this right here, uh, that is my Anaheim. And as you can see, I kind of got an, a leaf issue going on with this one. So, I'm going to be looking to treat that a little bit. It's another reason why I sprayed it with an, uh, 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 neem oil because neem oil can help a lot of fungus and bacteria and stuff like that so along with bugs see this is another anaheim back here as you can see the this leaf didn't particularly take too well to that neem oil burnt it um, but other than that grown great this right here is the big bell bertha um, this one actually came with a leaf issue as you can see this one actually came with this leaf issue I didn't notice it when I bought it um, but before I put it in the ground I did notice it and so trying to figure out what's going on with it and uh, treat that as well hoping I'm hoping neem oil might help that as well this right here is my gypsy this one's growing about as perfect as it can get completely green no leaf issues whatsoever This is one of my tomatoes. Look at that. Look at the stem on that thing. This thing is extremely thick. It's got really nice, strong leaf leaves. It's already putting out suckers, as you can see right here. I, uh, I think I'm going to end up... Oh, we got a flower bud going on. See that? If I can get past this leaf down here. See that right here? Or wherever it just went. Oh, there it is. There, did you see that? Don't want that. <laughs> so I'm gonna pull that off. And don't, you do not want, do not want flower clusters on your plants. You want your, your plants to, uh, there we go, just adjusted my lighting again. You want your plant to focus its energy on, uh, Sending down roots and growing bigger and stuff like that, not not necessarily producing. So this one, I should have pulled all the the uh, cucumbers off because it has started to produce little cucumbers with the flowers at the tip. Um, but I pulled all those. Here's another one of my cucumbers. Cucumbers look fantastic. Putting off these little tendrils. Tendrils, as you can see, see that little tendril right here? This right here. Once it starts sending off those things, as you can see, it did it right here. See that? Once it starts sending off those tendrils and it connects and it wraps to something, something inside the plant, it's like part of its genes or something like that causes this plant to just shoot up like crazy I mean the plant once it starts sending out these tendrils and it finds something to grip onto the plants start taking off I mean, it, it's crazy I learned that from last year so right here is my ahi it's putting out nice new fresh leaves um, 
all the other ones that had kind of looked a little bit damaged. I was afraid this was going to be a little stunted because, um, how, yeah, I, I started growing this inside last June and uh, I brought it outside. So it definitely saw a lot of cold weather. Didn't see any frost or anything, but it saw a lot of cold weather. So I was afraid it was going to go, it was going to start off being stunted, but I don't know. It's shooting off leaves. As you can see right here. This is our, this shot off two tendrils and those two tendrils decided they were going to connect together. <laughs> so this guy's got a little tendril going on. Let's see if I can get it to... I try to help him along sometimes. Because if... You, seriously, once you get that tendril around something and it decides it's going to connect to just that, the plant just shoots off. It takes off like crazy. But I came out here and I should have already pulled off all the little flowers that it was putting out. Because like I said, flowers at this stage are bad. You want it to focus its energy on that. That isn't exactly a nice looking leaf down there. But whatever. Like I said, sprayed it all down with neem oil. This is, this is my Rapunzel. That's what this is, Rapunzel. Everything is shooting up with like weeds now. I forget what this one is. But, looks great. All the leaves are looking good. Nothing's really munching on them. I'm not quite necessarily sure what that is right there, but that's all right. So some right there had came along, started eating that. Other than that, this plant looks good. forget what this tomato plant is but but this whole thing right here if you look if you look down see here's the main stem if I can get my camera to focus this is the main stem this is a leaf stem that shoots off and then you have what's called a sucker that grows up and that's what this whole branch right here is this is a sucker and it'll literally turn into its own plant if you were to cut it off and put it in the ground it would grow and turn into its own plant so i'm gonna let it have it suckers this year because there's so much so much soil at least some of these are i am see that's a sucker right here maybe you can see it better from the side see this is the leaf stem this is the main stem, and this is the sucker coming off the center. So, they're absolutely looking great. Um, this is kind of random. I forgot that I put some cabbage outside. I forgot I did that. <laughs> so, I've actually got some cabbage growing in my garden. I forgot to show you this plant over here. I forgot what this guy is. There we go. I keep having to adjust my lighting. Look at how green that is. It looks good. This is the other one. Looks good. this one is this is the Thai hot pepper see I had rearranged remember my last picture picture I talked about my little rogue cayenne pepper over there I had buried it very softly over there so it 
uh, it wasn't, it hadn't grown down, it hadn't gotten established or anything. Um, so I ended up rearranging my plants because I just wanted a better arrangement. So, yeah, anyway, this is the tie. I'm not sure if I showed that in my last video. This is a Tabasco. I don't think I showed that in my last video either. So, as you can see, this. Forget what this. Forget what this tomato plant is, but looks great. Again, you can see the sucker coming off right there. Let's see. Yeah. It's looking great. I'm gonna kind of let my tomato plants this year because of the amount of soil that I have in my garden. Um, in my raised beds, I mean. I'm gonna kind of just let them shoot off uh, their their suckers, and I'm gonna just kind of like let it, you know, grow and let some of the tomatoes grow, you know, along the bed of the garden. And then I'm also gonna let them grow up onto the cage. Um, I've watched a lot of videos, a lot of, a lot of gardeners will say, oh, you need to pull off those suckers, you know, it depletes the plants of the nutrients they need, and, you know, that way you can, you know, force your plant to grow straight up, and then I've watched other gardeners, established gardeners, um, I've watched them just basically be able to grow their tomatoes, you know, along the ground, along the soil, and they had success, so, I think both methods are successful. Um, and I'm not necessarily going to aim for one particular one. All I'm saying is I'm going to kind of let my plants grow, grow kind of how they want this year. Um, the tomato plants are on the edge of the beds, so it, it, it's getting a good, you know, like four feet of space for soil and plus, you know, down and, you know, uh, that being the only the only tomato plant on the end literally above my fingertip right there that's the one that's in the, sh the, the the most shallow amount of soil the rest of these have oops, I almost fell over the rest of these have a significant depth of soil so I'm gonna just let them do their own thing I mean there's there's a lot of room for them to send send down their roots and and you know just grow big and beautiful and abundant and so that's what I'm gonna let it do so especially like Rapunzel over there you know Rapunzel I've seen videos and pictures and stuff of that of that plant growing 10 feet tall you know inside of you know a tomato cage the thing grows massive and you know out of, out of a 10 gallon bucket you know, so I, I have way more than 10 gallons of soil over there. That's, that's probably like 30 gallons just in the corner that it's in, you know. So it's, there's just a lot, a lot of soil. Um, so I'm going to just kind of let them do its own thing. Um, one thing I didn't show you is uh, since my last video, I put up this old fencing that I had. Got from my brother-in-law. So it's not like it's. You know the nicest stuff in the in the world it's definitely used stuff but I put it up and so as my cucumbers as they grow up I'm gonna have them on here and then of course I'm gonna send them out over there and I'm gonna kind of trellis them out I'm thinking of putting you know like a little fence right here and you know not a fence but you know like a little piece of that fencing come here and here and over there that that way I can keep my cucumbers off the ground so I will be trellising my cucumbers this year and keeping those off the soil. But the tomato plants, I, you know, I think I'm going to let them grow up. I think I'm going to let them grow out. And I think I'm going to just, just let them do its own thing. Um, we will see, though. But uh, that is what I've got going on. Um, I asked a fellow gardener, you know, my question about you know the the uh, compost tea 
and it's a very very well established gardener been been gardening for for decades and uh, I got a pretty good confirmation from him um, compost tea if you're using compost tea you need to you need to, and it's steeped if it's steeped and you're not using your air an aerator aerator changes everything if you're using steeped tea you need to use it within the first the first five days or so you know as it's made after after that you need to just toss what's left and start over um, because it becomes that 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 container becomes a garden for bacteria and it literally sucks all the oxygen out of the water and it becomes a living organism so if you water your plants with like what I did like three week old compost tea you, you don't you, you have no idea what, what what you're giving your plants and you know as as you saw in my video from you know my mistake <laughs> I literally lost all my plants so I, I gave them an infection one that they could not recover from and it, it, it just wiped out it wiped out everything you know luckily for me I had you know backups for for majority of my stuff well for everything except for a few of my peppers but uh, some people won't have you know that that kind of you know luck where they have they have you know back up the plant so if you use compost tea if it is steeped and you are not using an aerator use your compost tea fast and then if you're done with it throw it out don't don't let it sit there and steep for weeks on end and then water your plants with it you're in, you're you're inviting chaos into your garden i learned that from experience i'll never i'll never make that mistake again so um so anyway this is what my garden's gonna look like every year. I finally got it set up, uh, arranged the way I want. Like, like I told you, I, I, re I did a little bit of rearranging, um, just because I wanted the staggering effect. If you're looking from the sides of my beds, you know I wanted the staggering effect going like this. You know that way, you know this the plants back here can grow roots back there, and some over here, and you know this will send roots this way, and it just it gives them room to. To root and, and kind of do what they want um, and I did the same thing over here I had my my little rogue cayenne plant but um, after I ripped out my two dead plants that were in the back right there and uh, I couldn't necessarily find uh, a replacement for them for the, in the super hot variety of peppers I, uh, I just ended up you know setting it off to the side so you know that's staggered as well so everything is staggered the way that I wanted it um, so this is how my garden is going to look this year. I will say I was so saddened that I lost my super hot crop <laughs> that I went upstairs and germinated some more seeds. Um, I germinated uh, another some more white habanero. I do not I do not know if it's come through yet. I'm still I haven't checked the bag to see if they they. You know, they germinated properly and I germinated the some Fatali Gourmet Jigsaw which is my one of my favorite peppers so uh, that did germinate that's already I actually put up its little baby leaves it hasn't put out true leaves or anything um, so once those are finally ready I'll end up bringing those outside however I'll end up growing those stuff in buckets so there's two other varieties that I that I started germinating upstairs that I had a few seeds left for. I just hope that they germinate, um, and if so, they'll be in buckets as well. So I'll, I'll have four buckets out this year, hopefully. Um, so hopefully that stuff germinates. Right now, I'm not I'm not exactly having the the greatest of start to my growing season, but you know I should recover. But uh, so anyway, that is what I have got going on um everything has has adapted um from the transplant transplant shock is over they've gotten good watering they've gotten you know uh a little bit of fresh <laughs> i can assure you fresh compost tea and uh also got a neem oil treatment last night and uh so i should i these should grow fine and i should definitely still have a growing season um, if you have any questions or comments, 
please feel free to leave it below I'll try to answer them as best as i can um and i'll see you guys in a little while thank you very much for watching